an attractive small coastal town, Hopetown is located on the southern coast of Western Australia, 580 kilometres southeast of the state capital city of Perth. The town is quite remote in many respects, and still lacks many of the services available in larger towns. This accounts for the fact that it remains relatively unspoiled and quiet. Even so, the area is famous for its coastal scenery and for attractive campsites scattered along the coast. To the east are the campsites at Munglanut Beach, Mason Bay and Starvation Boat Harbour. To the west are the campsites of the Fitzgerald River National Park. The area is rich with wildflowers and due to the climate they are in bloom here much longer than they are in other areas. Matthew Flinders first charted the coast in this area in 1802, and by the 1820s, whalers from Tasmania were using the bays to shelter during rough weather. Land-based exploration started with Edward John Eyre in 1841, as he passed this way after crossing the Nullarbor. The town developed after gold was discovered near Ravensthorpe in 1899, and by 1900, the first buildings began to appear. The Phillips River Goldfield was declared, and Hopetown became the nearest port to import and export goods. Originally known as Marianne Harbour, the town was renamed in 1901 after Lord Hopetown, the first Governor General of Australia after Federation. The original name was said to come from the daughter of a whaler who worked in the area in the 1820s. The first long-term settlers, the Dunn brothers, arrived in the 1860s to establish a sheep station. John Dunn accompanied John Forrest when he was exploring the area, and a memorial to the event is located six kilometres along Forest Road. John Dunn, who is thought to have been temporarily marooned in the area before he decided to settle there, was killed by Aborigines in 1880. Dunn's grave is located on Kokaranup Road west of Ravensthorpe. A jetty for shipping was constructed in 1901, the same year as the town site was gazetted. A railway to Ravensthorpe was opened in 1909, but only remained in operation until 1925. The port of Hopetown then declined, and was effectively closed by 1936. In 1943, a salmon fishery began operating at 12 Mile Beach. It should be noted that Australian salmon are not related to salmon caught in the Northern Hemisphere, and are instead more closely related to Australian herring, also known as Tommy Ruff. A salmon cannery was built in 1947 to process the fish that were being caught locally. The old shipping jetty survived for many years, but finally in 1983 it succumbed to time and the elements and was demolished. The large stone groin that juts out from the coast today was constructed in 1984. Efforts to develop various mines in the area have come and gone over the years, with one of the most recent being a nickel mine that opened and closed a number of times as the price of nickel fluctuated on world markets. The world's longest fence, the Rabbit Proof Fence, starts east of town at Starvation Bay and finishes at 80 Mile Beach east of Port Hedland on the north coast of the state. By the time the fence had been constructed, however, rabbits had already passed it, and even though two more fences were built, neither did much to stop the invasion of bunnies from the east. <laughs>